here's the interesting bit because now is where we get a bit experimental I've seen many videos and pictures of where people put a piece of metal around here I haven't got much width on this yet so what I'm gonna do is I have half of a hot water tank and what I've done is cut a hole out the top which is the same size as the pipe it means and that will actually sit on top of the pipe now it means a few things I don't know how this shape is going to affect things but we'll find out it also means that I'm going to have some space between the insulation and and this and what I'm gonna think I'm gonna try is actually filling it with coarse sand. And the thinking behind that is to actually create in the barrel itself some thermal mass. I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't know if having that area hot is gonna interfere with the heat rising and heating and then cooling down as it comes down over the, co the the surface of this but I think if I was planning on burning this thing for hours and hours at a time then I don't think I would want thermal mass in there to start possibly creating an airlock or something but as it's going to be heated in short bursts I like the idea of having some thermal mass in there which will then very, very slowly continue to give out heat when the fire is going off. So, let's see if I can get this in place. Test firing of the rocket. This thing lit really easily and it's burning away quite nicely. I wouldn't say it's roaring, but I don't know if you can hear this. Now, the main thing here that I'm very pleased about is that the draft is going in the correct direction. There's no problem with that. All the flames are going horizontally, and there's no smoke coming from here. In fact, there's no smoke here on the inside at all, um, which is somewhat surprising given the, the that pipe under the ground is 11 meters long and here on the outside is where all the smoke is coming from I'll just pop over there and actually see how much heat we're losing out the end of the pipe I suspect it's not going to be much That's actually, it's actually cold, believe it or not. There's no heat at all coming from here. Nothing. So, test fire seems to be a success. Let's just see how this is going now. Very nice. Now, um, I did make one other improvisation. I have this heat proof tube going into the base of the burn chamber, which then turns into a pipe hopper vacuum cleaner.
which are connected to this aluminium pipe. This will all get tidied up. This is the tape is just temporary. And I have a vacuum cleaner motor in here. I brought the switch outside. This will sit outside the greenhouse with the switch on the inside, just down in this corner. To give me, I think I'm going to call it the turbo, turbo drive for the rocket stove. And we're burning away quite nicely there. But what I'm, I, I channeled, I made a few channels in here so I could put this metal plate in to close off this air duct. But what I want to be able to do is to open it and close off this. Oh, this doesn't actually sit there. Yes, it does. Close off the top and then turn on the turbo. Now we do get a puff of smoke. But that is now. Turbocharged rocket stove. And back to normal. Now, the idea was that that might help me with lighting, but I'm wondering if I might be able to use it so to create a hybrid rocket turbocharged rocket stove with a drip oil. A waste oil drip feed, so we have a oil burner. If I could get that to work and it burned cleanly, then that could be a nice experiment.